In this video, we are going to discuss about picking the proper location to take a biogas sample. Um, many people have many different uh, setups that are located with on your equipment. Um, and I just want to do a quick little discussion on what you should look for before you pull a sample. Uh, there are many uh, different types of pipes. There are many different types of levers. Uh, the most important thing that we have found was to remain consistent in your sampling event. If one day you use one type of tubing, the next day you use another type of tubing, it could affect your results. The primary part that we've found that works the best is to try to get a pipe that is located in an up position. If you do have something like this, a stainless steel pipe, it should be in the upwards position. Problems that we've seen that if it's facing downward as your gas is traveling through, moisture will start to collect. That will bias your results. Other things we've seen is people have different types of levers. These are fine. We can use these. However, if you have some of those large ones that are yellow or orange or red, be very, very cautious at using them and make sure the lines get bled very well. A lot of them can't contain siloxane grease, so even though your gas may be pure, pure coming in, by the time it gets to this point, the uh, siloxanes will, off, will be removed off the um, mechanism and then be put into your sample. This will bias your results. Uh, in worst case scenarios, if you have to, you can sample coming off in this direction that would be perpendicular to the pipe. But best results always work in an upright position. It almost guarantees that we will not get the moisture uh, to, to uh, bias your, your samples. Other than that, uh, on the next video, what we're going to do is I will discuss uh, sampling with the canister and sampling with a Tedlar bag.